What is adrenocortical carcinoma? A rare condition known as adrenal cortex carcinoma occurs when cancerous cells grow in the outer layer of the adrenal gland. Adrenal glands are found in pairs. The adrenal glands have a triangle-like form, and are tiny. Each kidney has one adrenal gland on top of it. There are two components to every adrenal gland. The adrenal cortex is the outer layer of the adrenal gland. The adrenal medulla is the core of the adrenal gland. Hormones such as cortisol, testosterone, aldosterone, and estrogen are produced by the adrenal cortex. These hormones regulate bodily processes like blood pressure and stress response, as well as characteristics specific to men and women. A malignant adrenal tumor that develops in the adrenal cortex is called an adrenocortical carcinoma, ACC. Two types of ACC exist. 1. Functioning ACC tumor. An ACC tumor that is producing hormones will cause your adrenal gland to overproduce hormones. 2. Non-functioning ACC tumor. Hormone synthesis is unaffected by this kind of tumor. Who is at risk of getting adrenocortical carcinoma? Adrenal cancer is more common in those who have specific hereditary disorders. Adrenocortical cancer runs in families in around half of instances. The following genetic disorders raise the risk of ACC. 1. The syndrome of beckwith wiedemann 2. The Carney complex. 3. FAP stands for familial adenomatous polyposis. 4. Syndrome Lee Frommeni. 5. Lynch syndrome. 6. Endocrine neoplasia multiplex men 1. 7. Type 1 neurofibromatosis NF1. 8. The syndrome of von Hippel Lindau, VHL. Causes and symptoms of adrenocortical carcinoma. What causes adrenocortical carcinoma? The precise reason why some people have malignant adrenal tumors is unknown to researchers. An increased risk of the disease exists in those who are born with specific genetic abnormalities. Gene alterations, or mutations, can also happen on their own, and not be inherited. The exact mechanism of the genetic alterations leading to adrenocortical cancer remains unclear to experts. Symptoms of adrenocortical carcinoma. Two ways exist for adrenal tumors to induce symptoms. Hormone overproduction symptoms may be brought on by a functional ACC. Adrenal tumor may push on surrounding organs if it becomes sufficiently large. Pain or other symptoms may be brought on by this pressure. The following list of symptoms of adrenocortical cancer varies depending on the cause. 1. Abdomen ache, or the belly. 2. Male or boy swelling of the breasts, gynecomastia. 3. Early puberty in teenage boys and girls. 4. Development of excessive body or face hair in women. 5. High blood pressure. 6. High blood sugar. 7. Gaining weight in the trunk, face, and neck but not the arms or legs. Complications of adrenocortical carcinoma. Adrenal tumors have the potential to spread if left untreated. Tumors may press against other organs as they enlarge. This pressure may result in additional symptoms, or impair the functionality of those organs. Adrenocortical carcinomas in operation will persist in overproducing hormones that regulate different bodily processes. Different symptoms are caused by different hormones. Cushing's syndrome is brought on by an excess of cortisol, and its symptoms include 1. High blood pressure level 2. High blood sugar 3. Increased weight in the trunk, neck, and face. 4. A fat mass located amidst the shoulder blades. 5. The growth of hair on your body and face. Too much aldosterone can cause Kohn's syndrome, with symptoms including. 1. Excessive thirst. 2. High blood pressure. 3. Muscle weakness or cramping. 4. The need to urinate frequently. When women have too much testosterone, they may. 1. Growth of hair on the body and face. 2. Balding. 3. Deepening voice. 4. Lack of menstrual periods. In women, excessive estrogen can lead to. 1. Irregular periods. 2. Bleeding after menopause. 3. Gaining weight. In men, excessive estrogen can lead to. 1. Low desire for sex. 2. Erectile dysfunction. 3. Breast growth. Tests and diagnosis. How is adrenocortical carcinoma diagnosed? In addition to performing a physical examination, your healthcare professional will inquire about any symptoms you may be having. If adrenal cancer is the cause of your symptoms, you could have 1. Imaging tests, such as MRI, CT scan or PET scan to look for tumors. 2. Testing for hormone levels in the blood and urine. 3. A dexamethasone suppression test to measure cortisol levels. 4. A biopsy is performed to identify cancerous tumors. Management and treatment of adrenocortical carcinoma. 
How does one manage or treat adrenocortical carcinoma? The first treatment is usually surgery to remove the tumor. Along with removing the adrenal gland, your surgeon might also need to remove some nearby tissue. Your treatment strategy may involve the following to prevent cancerous cells from spreading to other parts of your body. 1. Radiation. 2. Chemotherapy. 3. Immunotherapy. Is it possible to prevent adrenocortical carcinoma? Very little is known by experts about the causes of adrenal cancer. As of right now, there are no recommendations on how to stop it. Adrenocortical carcinoma often runs in families. Genetic testing should be done on all family members if one develops the illness. Inquire with your doctor about routine screening for early detection, if you have a hereditary issue that puts you at higher risk of developing a CC. Please share, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay healthier always.